Hi guys, uh, hope you're doing well today. Time for a CD update video. Um, CD update number eight this time. The last one I did, the last video I made, um, was purely thrash and death metal. And I said I was going to make this one um, about the, the classic rock and the heavy metal CDs that I picked up at the same time as the other ones. But um, I had quite a few to show, so I thought it's best to best to split them up. Um, so we'll make a start, guys. If, um, first off now this is a band um, originally I believe this album was released in 87 so um, it would have passed me well by uh, it would have gone right under my flown right under my radar back in the day um, but I heard a few things about them they're from Portland Oregon in the United States I believe this is their third album and this is a re-release this is Wild Dogs Reign of Terror uh, like I say, I've never heard these back in the day, uh, but I picked this up not long ago. It's a 2002 re-release on the US Metal Records. Oh, it's a cracker. It's an absolute cracker. It's um, traditional, that sort of new wave of British heavy metal thing going on. Um, but I'd never heard of them before. I'd never even heard them, didn't know anything about them. And a, lot, a few of the songs there, the guitar in very much reminded me of um, George Lynch out of Dokken. Very impressed, but yeah, some super riffs, great vocals, proper heavy metal vocals. The guy's got a set of lungs, that's for sure. So that's Wild Dogs. Um, made up to pick this up, I think I paid about a pound for it, plus the postage. Um, so I made up to get that. Um, and I'll certainly listen to that a bit more, because it's, uh, it's an absolute cracker. Um, next up, this is um, another American band from New Jersey. Um, I don't know a lot about them really i believe this is their second release i've only picked up this recently so i've not even listened to it yet um but from what i've heard of this band the the the, the typical pow powerful heavy metal um i don't know if i've heard a few people mention the proto thrash but this is uh attacker now like i say i've yet to have a listen to this um and i've not managed to do any research on it but um this is uh, 1999 release on the Sentinel Steel Records. I'm, like I said, I'm not sure if I said before, I believe it's um, an originally an 88 release. But um, this was one of those that I speak about quite a lot in my videos, guys. That, um, purely picked it up because of the artwork. I seen the art and I just thought, I'm having some of that. That's a, that's a great cover. So that's Attacker. Looking forward to hearing that. Okay, next up, um, classic hair metal band from LA I think they're from LA California in America this is their debut from 1984 on Atlantic and this is Rat out of the cellar another one that passed me by I remember getting Dancing Undercover uh, is it Dancing Undercover yeah um, Invasion of Your Privacy Reach for the Sky they were ones that I'd heard back in the day but um, like like I've said again in my other videos I was on a different on a different musical journey so where uh, this got left behind excuse me um, so I made up to pick it up and a lot of people speak very highly of rat on the VC in the VC so um, made up to get that next up classic Brummy lad all the way from Birmingham um, England this is Aussie second release solo release um, diary of a madman um i like to pick up these these presses i'm not i don't like this cover i'll be honest with you i prefer to see like the, the whole album cover on the front but these re-releases um are far superior to the ones that were re-released in the 2000s um i think this if i remember rightly this is randy rhodes on the guitar tommy aldridge drums rudy sars on bass classic lineup but these, uh, yeah, it's a remaster, this one, but these, na I'm not sure if I heard that the 2000 releases, they'd, they'd, they'd redone some of the music, some, some of the instruments, so they had like a different drummer playing. I'm not I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I'm sure you guys can let me know. So I tend to look out for these ones with Aussie written down the side, not track listing in a big circle as well, what's all that about? But yeah, still. Adding, uh, adding to my Aussie collection, filling a few holes in there, so I'm uh, pleased to pick that up. Music Magpie, 
two pound nine p, I think it was. Next up, classic band, another English band from uh, Hartford uh, in England. Um, originally released, released in seventy two, I believe, um, and this is Deep Purple. I think this is the album that came after Machine Head. I think looking at the track listing with Highway Star, Smoke on the Water, Space Trucking. Um, I did a video recently showing some of my live albums. It just got me thinking really about the live albums. I didn't realise I had so many um, and I was keeping my eye out, always just looking for um, classic rock, you know, a bit of Deep Purple and this came up, made in Japan. So uh, yeah, you can't go too far wrong with that, can you? Next up, um, Another American artist on the list, uh, Detroit, America. Um, this is this gentleman's eighth release from 1975. Alice Cooper, welcome to my nightmare. Slowly filling up the holes in my uh, Alice Cooper collection. Recently picked up um, Killer, which I think I might have shown in another video. Um, go and I've got Alice Cooper goes to hell as well so yeah we're getting there but yeah Alice Cooper um, I think most of these artists that I'm speaking about I don't need to tell you much about them you, you we all know how good they are don't we so we're uh, happy to pick that up <clears throat> next up this is a well I've got two albums by this uh, guy um, I've been listening to a bit of Thin Lizzy um, and it just got me thinking about him and I, and I was thinking about this guy sort of he's renowned for his blues albums um, but he got me thinking about his, his rock output uh, anyway I had a little look and I managed to pick these two up for £2.25 for the pair of them um, this is Gary Moore from Belfast Northern Ireland uh, played the guitar with Thin Lizzy as you all know um, what year is this the print on the back of that's awful can you see it there, the, the blue on grey? It's not good for your eyes, that is it, even with my glasses on. 87 release. And he also followed that up. Sorry, Gary Moore, Wild Frontier. Followed that up by Gary Moore after the war. I remember um, the single off Wild Frontier, um, Over the Hills and Far Away. Um, and I remember liking it back in the day when it came out, but I seem to remember the the, um, the drums on this were programmed. They didn't actually have a drummer. They were all programmed, and it, it really put me off that because I'm a I, I like I like a proper band, you know, all the musicians. So anyway, uh, going back and revisiting, and when I've had listened to it, you, you can't really tell. It's really well done. Whoever did the, the programming for, and for the year, you know, the the technology that was available, um, it's very good. So yeah, that's Gary Moore. Um, that's his sixth release. Like I say, he had a bit of a rock uh, period in his career where he did, I think he did maybe three or four albums. Um, and then he went back to his blues roots. And yeah, after the war as well. Um, I'm not sure which single it was off that, but it. Not sure if it was um, just the song after the war, but um, yeah, can't go wrong picking those two up for just over £2, can you? Next up. Um, I've been filling some serious holes in this collection. Um, again, a lot of people on the VC speak very highly of them and it got, just got me thinking. I thought, right, got to get into these, got to give them a chance, revisit it, been loving it. I had Crusader on only the other day. And this is one that um, my friend Andy over at Cloudy Milder recommended. Um, whether this is favorite, I'm not sure, but he, he highly recommended this one, so get your hands on it. So I did. The Saxon, Strong Arm of the Law, um, very happy to have this all the way from Barnsley. I think this is their second release, and I do need to pick up their their debut. Uh, that's another one, but I think this is my fifth fifth Saxon uh, CD now. Originally re released in '80, so uh, I wasn't even probably listening to music by that point. I was probably listening to um, watching Rainbow or Scooby Doo or something. Next up, another one. Um, this is Birmingham band, classic band. The reason I say another one, it's one of these that I keep seeing people showing this recently on the VC. 
Um, and I've not heard a bad word against it. I've got plenty of their other disto discography. Probably got about a, a dozen of their albums, but I didn't have this one. So I thought it was about time to pick this up. Judas Priest Live. Priest Live. All the classics on there, Breaking the Law, Metal Gods, Turbo Lover, Living After Midnight. Uh, I've not actually had a listen to this because I only picked this up the other day, but I'm very happy to add this to my collection. And I'm sure a few of my friends out there on the VCU have got it. Um, I'll be pleased to see that I have got it now for my collection. So we're uh, very happy to have that. Um, 87 release, Columbia Records. Next up, this, uh, this is a, a lady from Germany, uh, Dusseldorf. I was always a big fan of her band Warlock when I first heard them. Um, and I think this is her second solo release. Um, great voice, proper, proper rock chick, this one. This is Doro. Now this is not as, it's not as heavy as Warlock, it's not as metal as Warlock, it's a little bit more um, Americanized, you know, a bit more radio friendly. It's still a great album, love it to bits. Produced by Gene Simmons, so I suppose um, that gives you a clue, you know, and she was, she was maybe trying to make it out of Europe and into America at the time, but um, yeah, I like it. I like Warlock, so um, love this woman's voice. So that's Doro. Next up, um, this is um, a band from Kansas, America. It's um, a 93 release. When grunge was coming to the forefront, I suppose. Um, this is a band that they were classed as grunge. Um, but they never really made it. They had, a, they had a great single, and the reason I bought this album is because I've got the singles yesterday. I've got it on seven inch, uh, but I always loved it. And I saw this cheap as chips on, on uh, Music Mad Pie, so I was gonna have it. And this is poor Dragline. The song Jesse, I'm sure most of you people who are metal fans, rock fans from the early 90s will have heard Jesse. It's a, it's a great song. It's got to be a, probably the best song ever written about someone who loves the dogs, or dog. Um, yeah, poor Dragline, they're, they're a bit, they're a bit, um, I don't like class them as just grunge, because I think they've got a bit more to them than that, but um, yeah, they never, they, they were the, there was a lot of bands, wasn't there, coming out, you know, and, and, and doing that, I suppose, and getting tagged along on the grunge um, label, but um, yeah, underrated band in my opinion. Okay, another, I've got two more to show, and these are both from the 90s, both from early, I think 91, the pair of them. Again, this is one that had passed me by back in the day, uh, but I saw, well, I've seen quite a few people showing this in the VC, and that's the beauty of the VC, I've said it so many times, you know, you someone shows you something, you think, ah, oh, I remember, yeah, yeah, I'll give them a check out, I forgot all about them. And this is uh, Saigon Kick. I think this is their debut album. Um, I do remember them. I remember them more for The Lizard, is it? The second album, I think. But um, yeah, this is, uh, it's really good. It's really good. It's, it's, it's 90s, I don't, it's not quite hair metal. I suppose it got, it got labeled in that, but it's a bit, doesn't sound to me like a hair metal band. It sounds, it sounds like, um, it sounds like a, a 70s band playing in the 90s. It's, it's really good, very, very good. Some great vocals on it. Um, I think these. I think they're from Miami. Correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah, Saigon Kick. Very happy to add that to the collection. And last but not least, um, this is definitely hair metal um, from LA. Um, well, they had to be from LA with the name LA Guns. This is their third release, I think. I've got the first two albums of theirs. Um, the, just the debut LA Guns and Cops and Loaded. Um, I always remember Steve Riley, the drummer. Um, I'd, I'd recognised him from his days in Wasp. Tracy Guns, uh, I know these, these guys had something to do with the whole uh, beginning of Guns N' Roses. Uh, I can't remember the story exactly, but um, I'm sure you guys out there know the, the history of this band. But yeah, happy to pick that up. And as always with me, you know, don't pay much for these. Um, I pay a bit more than Steve at Value Vinyl. 
two bucks, two pounds, but not a lot more. <laughs> so um, that's it, guys. That is my classic rock and heavy metal um, pickups. How many's there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Um, we have been listening to the mighty accept. Thought it was only right to have a bit of classic rock heavy metal while we're looking at a classic rock heavy metal um, pickups list CDs update. <laughs> so before I start waffling and losing um, track of what I'm even talking about, um, I shall say bye, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and I will catch up with you again in the next few days. Um, until then, take care, look after yourselves, and all the best. Take care, guys.